If you think the fusion pitch is too complicated to use it because of its difficult note system, I totally get it because I've been there. Today we're going to change that way of thinking so you can finally dive into the world of fusion and become a better video editor in DaVinci Resolve. Because today I'm going to explain you the note system as simple as possible and I'm going to use a train system as examples. We are going to recreate this kind of graphic which looks like this in the fusion page. And before you run away now, I explain this graphic with this train system to my girlfriend and she was able to understand the principles of the fusion page without ever touching a video editing software before. So I'm pretty sure you will understand the note system today and if not you can smash that dislike button and hate me in the comments. So let's get started with the tutorial. If we open our fusion page and hit shift spacebar we can access all our notes and there are a ton of notes. But today I'm only going to show you five essential notes that you need to know and with those five essential note categories you're able to do the most of the things in the fusion page. Our train is representing the media in node which is a source node and this is the first category of notes that I want you to remember. A source node can be a video, a photo, a graphic, a background or a text node. Basically anything that you could drag into a layer editing program. And those can be only visible for us if we connect them with our media out node, which is here represented as our final destination. So if we want that our train is visible for us, we need to make sure it has rails so it's connected to our final destination. Makes sense because without the rails it won't arrive there, right? And our media out is by the way already our second node that you have to remember, which is only here to make everything visible for us, so our final output. The third node you're learning is an effect node. These effects can be anything we can find in our effects pool, like a transform, a drop shadow or any other effect you can imagine. And I represent the effects on purpose like a tunnel here, because in Fusion it's really important to understand that we run a video through an effect. Unlike in layer editing programs we always say we put an effect on our video. No, in Fusion we don't put it on, because we let the media run through an effect. Remember, don't put the effect on, we run the video through the effect. For this example, we are going to use a color correction effect. And in this note, I'm just changing the values of our saturation. So our media is running through our color corrector and arrives at our final destination way more colored. Awesome. Let's move on to our next note. If we want to introduce a new element, like the text for example, we need the fourth node that you need to learn. The famous merge node. We always need a merge node if we want to introduce a source like a photo, video, graphic or text. So again, everything that you can import in a layer editing program, if we want to stack something on top of each other, we need a merge node to do so. The merge node is here represented as a track junction because it basically brings both of our media to our final destination. But now we face a problem. If both trains arrive at the intersection, which train goes first? If you look closely in a merge node, you can find two colors, yellow and green. And in a merge node, the yellow input is always the background and the green one is our foreground. That means if we put here our green light and here our yellow light, then this train goes first and this one second. Just think about it like a traffic light. Green goes first and yeah, okay. In this case, yellow means attention, so just wait. Green goes first, yellow second. So to fully understand it, I want to imagine yourself standing at our final destination with a camera looking towards this direction. So if the train arrives, now you will see the text first because it's the foreground and our video in the background. If we change those lights, which you can do in the fusion page pretty simple by pressing right click on the merge node and hit swap input and the colors will change the position, which means now that our video is our foreground and the text will disappear because it's behind our video. The color here really matters. If you ask yourself what is now the blue input, just forget it for a second. I will get to it later because it has a complete different purpose, okay? Let's undo that step and putting our lights back into the correct order so we have the text as our foreground. Before we add now our next graphic layers, let's make clear why we put the color correction effect node before our merge node. Which I will tell you right after we talked about our sponsor Audio. 
They have over 300,000 sound effects in their library and they're adding new ones consistently. With their keyword search engine, it's easy to find the correct sound effect that you need for your project. And honestly, they have the best high quality music I have sound so far. All the music that you are hearing in this tutorial are from them. I even edit my short form content with this music because I actually like it and I can be 100% sure that it don't get removed because I got the license. Audio also truly revolutionized the way of searching your music. How often do you want it to take a song from Spotify and use it in a commercial project? Well, with their new LinkMage AI feature, you just head over to Spotify or YouTube, copy the link, and you can easily find the best matching music to this song. If you use the code WALDEN70, you got a discount of 70% of your first year, which brings the price down to only $59 for one year of unlimited downloads. I put you the link in the description below and by supporting my sponsor you're also supporting my channel. Thanks to my sponsor and let's continue with the tutorial. So why do we put our color correction out before our merge node and not after? The reason is quite simple because if we put it behind our merge node that means also our text node would run through our color correction and in this case we don't want that so let's keep it at this position where it only affects the background. Now let's create the black background shape which should be behind our text. To do this we take a background node which is just an empty colored background where we can create any color we want. In our case that's black. And as we have learned before, to let our background arrive in our final destination, we need a merge node. So now everything is black. This is not what we want. And now I'm going to show you the last important node of this tutorial, the mask node which can be any shape you like, an ellipse, a rectangle or a polygon where you can draw any shape you can imagine. It's working like a stencil if you use it with a background node. If you use a background with a mask node together, you can define that only this specific area is getting affected or getting shown. And finally, our blue input makes sense because the blue input is only here for masks. So here is our black background and let's put our rectangle mask, which we have to draw inside the blue input and we got our shape. Beautiful and easy. This is the general method to create shapes in DaVinci. I made a whole separate video about creating and animating shapes in the Fusion page. If you want to go and check it out, it's on my channel right here. So, now where we have our black shape, it's blocking our text. It's because we have to swap the inputs, so the text is our green input and goes first. Remember our traffic lights. So, our mask goes inside our background and stencils this shape. Let's start with our train from the beginning and check if we put it correctly. So our train starts and runs through our effect tunnel and has to wait because the other ones have the green light and can go first. So let's start again. Green light go first and so we are arriving in our final destination in this order. All that's left now is our yellow line. It's completely the same principle as before. Create a yellow background add a mask to get our shape and let it arrive in our final destination by inserting a merge node one more time. Now in this case it doesn't really matter if we insert our yellow line before our text node or after the text because they don't overlap. It's only important that it goes before our black background. So now I want to show you why we have put all our additional media into this one merge node. Because we could have put it also after another, it would have looked the same. But what is now the difference if we put all in one merge node? The reason for that is that you can set keyframes on our merge node, so we can animate it. And all these settings that you do here get only applied to our foreground, so our green input. So that means changing the position values are able to animate the complete black graphic, including our text. So basically it's working just like a group or a compound clip. And with this principle, you are able to create awesome text animations. I want to leave you a few more important tips before we end this video. I choose a simple graphic like this on purpose because the biggest mistake you can do is creating complex and difficult effects in the Fusion page before understanding the basics. So take yourself time, try to recreate this graphic, disconnect and connect nodes to really fully understand what you're doing. And after really fully understanding the basics, you can move on to more difficult tutorials in the Fusion page. And just remember always this one sentence, we don't put the effect 
on a video, we let the video run through an effect. This way of thinking will make it so much more easier for you in the Fusion page. So as I said, I really want that you show me if you got now a better understanding of the Fusion page after this video. So smash that dislike button if you think I wasted your time or hit that like button if you think I showed you some new knowledge. This will help me to understand in the statistics if this kind of video really helped you or not. Don't forget the massive deal for only $59 for a complete year of unlimited downloads from the platform Audio. Use the code WALDEN70 to get your discount, link is in the description below. And with this being said, let's start creating.